Hi, I'm Tim Studd. I'm the editor of Laboratory Equipment, and we're at Lab Automation in Palm Springs, and we're at the biotech booth, and uh, we're going to have Xavier uh, give us a little information about the products that they're introducing here. Xavier? Good morning. I'm, um, so I'm going to talk to you about the uh, Senior GH4, which is our new um, hybrid multimode reader that we're uh, launching at this show. Uh, we're just ready to um, uh, ship the first uh, units, so it's a brand new product for us. And I'll tell you a little more about it in terms okay. of uh, you know features and benefits. Okay, why don't you tell us what kind of features it does have? Yeah, so as I said, it's a multi-mode reader, so you will find on this product uh, most of the features that you'll find on any standard uh, multi-mode reader. So it's going to read absorbance, luminescence, fluorescence, polarization, TRF. Um, most of these features are available as options, so you can build the product the way you want it. Uh, what makes it different from uh, other products is that it um, includes what we call a hybrid optical system, which means that um, it uh, has a filter-based optical system and a monochromator-based optical system. Uh, the filter system is what you can see here on this slide. Uh, it's a very simple system. The light is selected by um, the wavelength is selected by um, optical filters, and so it's a very efficient, uh, simple optical system. And then what you have in addition to that in this instrument is a monochromator based optical system that uh, uses grading to select wavelength so you have both in this instrument where typically uh, you will have to choose one or the other when you choose a multi-mode instrument um, that's w that's one of the main differences between this product and existing products on the market and how will this help your customers uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility each one of the optical systems have uh, uh, benefits and uh, limitations if you go back to the filter system, um, it, it's a very efficient optical setup, which means that uh, the um, light transmission is very good. A filter transmits about 80% of um, uh, the light through, which means that you have a lot of energy that reaches the sample, and you have also a very good collection efficiency. Uh, and what that means for uh, applications and customers is that, uh, first, it's going to be more sensitive for assays that have low light levels, and also it's, um, it's a faster optical system. So if throughput is important, you can read faster with a filter-based system compared to a monochromator-based system. On the other hand, obviously filters are cumbersome. You have to have a range of filters for a range of applications. And for each wavelength, you need a specific filter. And that's why uh, in many instances, monochromator systems are so useful um, because the um, uh, gradings allow you to uh, select pretty much any wavelength from the low UV to the near infrared uh, in one nanometer increment. So it's very flexible. Uh, you can run spectral scans, which is something you can't do with filters. Uh, so for many, many applications, using a monochromator system is much more um, uh, useful. But on the other hand, uh, because there is so much light loss in monochromators, uh, you, uh, there are applications that won't run using monos. So the combination of both allows you to have a a broader range of applications really that's that's the bottom line okay, what kind of challenges did you have to overcome to, to develop this system uh, it was mostly linked to the development of our uh, second generation monochromator system uh, it's because it's a pretty um, advanced uh, optical setup and it involves um, things that we had haven't had to do before one of them was that we had to set up a clean room because in these kind of uh, optical paths you can't have any dirt or any little piece of dust. Um, we had to um, uh, purchase uh, advanced or more uh, precise um, tools for um, mechanical parts because the tools we had weren't precise enough for the kind of to tolerances when we needed for that. So it was really ramping up our abilities to manufacture high-end optical uh, systems uh, beyond what we had done before. That, these were the main challenges from a, an engineering standpoint. Yeah. And this is the first time that you're showing this? Yeah, it's the very first time where we are showing this product. Uh, and as I was saying at the uh, beginning of this show, actually um, this product is going to be released to our manufacturing floor tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and the first uh, units to ship to customers within a couple of weeks. So it's really a brand, brand new product for us. Uh, okay, thank you very much, Xavier. Uh, this video is going to be uh, posted on our website for, uh, at laboratoryequipment.com, and it'll be there for another 30 days. So if you want to review this again, just go to laboratoryequipment.com. Thank you.